Hi everyone, this is Teo from PunkerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to review the Windows version of the Lenovo Yoga book. This is actually my friend's. I borrowed this for a few weeks to try out. So today I'm going to tell you the differences between the Windows version versus the Android version, which I have reviewed a few weeks ago. So let's get started. Let's recap some of the key specifications of this 2-in-1 tablet. The screen is 10.1 inches, resolution is 1920 by 1200. It's quite lightweight at 690 grams. It's quite thin as well. So it has this hinge that allows you to turn the screen all the way to the back. So this is how thin it can get. Now on this side, there's the micro USB charging port. You can also use a micro USB cable and there's the mini HDMI port. And these are the speakers. There is also a nano SIM card tray here. The speaker quality is actually quite good. Now, one of the major downside of this tablet, in my opinion, is the use of this micro USB cable. It's very difficult for me to transfer files onto this computer using thumb drive because you need an adapter and I do not have the adapter that means I have to go and buy one. I have USB-C cables but this is not using USB-C. It would have been so much more convenient to use a USB-C port here. So what this means is you should expect to work on this tablet wirelessly and if there's no internet connection, no Wi-Fi, and you are not using the SIM, then it's going to be very difficult to transfer files onto this tablet. This is the Halo keyboard that you can turn on and off with the press of a button. So when it's turned off, you can use the stylus that's provided to draw on the surface and it would move the cursor on the screen. And when you turn it on like this, you can type on the keyboard. I've been using this for a few weeks and I haven't gotten used to typing on the keyboard. Actually, I prefer typing on the screen with the on-screen keyboard. Battery life for this is actually quite good. The battery capacity is 8,500 milliamp. I can get around seven to nine hours of battery life on this. It depends on what you're doing. I can actually watch three full-length movie on this and there will still be enough power for me to shut this down which is quite good however there are some quirks with the battery charging when I use the battery charger that's included to charge this sometimes it doesn't charge as fast as I like sometimes when I charge this overnight it doesn't charge to 100% and when I leave it to sleep mode when I turn off the Wi-Fi Sometimes the battery discharges faster than I expect. So maybe on the next day, 10 to 20% may be gone, even when I'm not using the tablet, just leaving it in sleep mode, which is quite weird. And the battery charging time, sometimes it can be fast, sometimes it can be slow. But um, the main thing is when you get it charged to 100%, the battery life is quite decent. So since I'm an artist, my review will be from the artist perspective and now I'm going to demonstrate some applications that are running on Windows 10. So let's start with Sketchable. So it takes a while to load. Android version is going to launch applications much faster. When I see a screen like this, it reminds me of the days when I'm running computers on those 3.5 inch hard disks. This feels like uh, those days. So this is the stylus. I'm going to draw on the Halo keyboard. Let me turn the keyboard off and go into the drawing mode. If you want to, you can actually use the stylus and draw on the screen, but it doesn't work that well and when you're drawing diagonal lines there is the jitter effect and in this case it's just it just doesn't work that well for drawing purposes but if you want to you can use this for tapping for scrolling web pages this is I think good enough if you want to use it on the screen itself 
but if you are going to draw then it's best to use the halo keyboard to draw on the keyboard below so this is the brush the same brush that I used earlier there is pressure sensitivity and it works very well the lines are very smooth it doesn't have any lag it's not very different compared to drawing on a Wacom in tools tablet so if you want to use this app for like quick sketching you can do so it's very accurate and very sensitive and now I'm going to use a ruler to draw a straight diagonal line to see if there's any jitter so this is a perfectly straight line it doesn't suffer from the jitter problem that a lot of tablets have and now I'm going to use Wacom bamboo paper this is actually one of my favorite apps for taking notes so right now I'm going to do a note taking demo I'm going to rotate the tablet like this so that I can write on this side and the words will appear on the screen now for some reason when I rotate the tablet the lines they are still vertical I'm not sure how to change that this tablet is very good at taking notes first of all this is very accurate so it captures my handwriting accurately there is no lag at all and when writing on the keyboard surface there is a nice tactile feeling to it much better compared to writing on glass and it's very responsive there is no lag at all so when you're writing fast it's able to catch up with your writing so overall this is if you want to buy this for handwriting for taking notes so if you want to buy this for taking notes I would say go ahead it's very good you can try Wacom bamboo paper because this is running on Windows you can install all sorts of Windows app and now I'm using mischief all right I just want to show you this problem that I have with mischief I'm trying to draw a circle something like this but most of the time it actually gives me a straight line before it curves so this is a problem with this particular app with WinTap driver I actually have WinTap driver installed so I have to turn off WinTap driver for mischief to function properly WinTap by the way is not installed by default you have to install it in order to get pressure to work on Photoshop so now I'm going to turn off wind tap it's very troublesome to turn wind tap off and on when you want to switch software but that's the only issue with mischief so now mischief uh, should be working fine there is no wind tap driver now I feel that there is some slight lag but it's not that irritating also the lines it seems like they have some jitter for some strange reason let's see if I can get the pressure to work pressure does work so the performance of the stylus the drawing experience is going to differ depending on which app you use so this is mischief let me close this let me turn on wind tap by the way I will include the shortcut to turn wind tap on and off in the video description below some people always ask me about that and now let's go into art rich touch so this is art rich touch it has some slight lag initially but now it's fine so some software they tend to have some lag when you start using them but after a while it's fine now the 
brush performance is quite good it's very responsive it's very accurate i can draw lines very smoothly unlike mischief for some reason and now it's quite responsive You can also use finger gestures to scale and rotate the canvas if you want to, provided that the app supports those uh, features. So this is ArtRage, I think this works fine. This is MIDI Bang Paint Pro. First thing I want to say is the resolution of this screen. On this 10.1 inch screen, it's good for all software. And for all the software that I have used, uh, user interface elements like the menus, the buttons, they all look big enough. They are very comfortable to see, so you don't have to squint your eyes. For some higher resolution screens like Surface Pro 4, if you're using old software, the menus can be a bit small, the icons can be a bit tiny, and it's very difficult to click on the icons accurately. But here, it works perfectly fine. So let me pick a pen and show you the strokes there is no lag whatsoever if you see any lag that's because of my camera settings the lines are actually quite smooth let me show you the thin and thick lines so there is pressure with midi bank as well it looks like there are some slight jitter, so I want to use the ruler to draw a diagonal line and see what's going to happen. So this is a perfectly straight line, so the jitter probably is because of my hand. If I draw a bit quicker, the lines are a bit smoother. Now there is this particular quirk about Medibank Paint Pro for drawing at normal speed I think it works fine but when you start drawing quickly you can see these um, straight lines coming out even though I was actually drawing curves so that's a bit strange with Medibank Paint Pro perhaps there's something wrong with the settings that I do not know of but usually I draw a bit slower so it's fine Medibank Paint Pro works very well other than this particular quirk when you start sketching very quickly and also this app it supports finger gestures as well it is not that responsive but it works all right let's switch over to Adobe Illustrator this is Adobe Illustrator CS6. Notice the size of the menus and the buttons here. Very small compared to Medibank Paint Pro, but it's going to be even smaller on the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. The screen on the Surface Pro 4 has high resolution. Here it's lower, so at least this is still usable, still not that frustrating yet. So let me show you some strokes. You must install WinTap driver. Oops, notice that there is lag right now. I'm trying to write the words WinTap and there is lag. I only have Illustrator open, so this is not good. So sometimes the lag it appears, sometimes it's not there. So right now it's not there. But for some reason, when I try to write, write the words WinTap, you see, there is some lag again. And this is a common problem with more processor-intensive apps like this. Even though this is a vector software, I actually do not expect it to run so slowly, but it does. So this is something to take note of. For apps that are designed for tablet use, um, and since Windows, you can use tablet apps as well. Those tablet apps, they are going to perform quite well on the yoga book, but for desktop apps, it's going to run a bit slower. So um, this, I would say, is quite frustrating to use. So usually when I'm drawing, I do not use this. I would use Midibank Paint Pro or Sketchable or, and Wacom 
bamboo paper. The last software I want to show you is Adobe Photoshop. This is version CS6. Let me click on this. You might want to check out how long the waiting time is for the program to load. This is the typical loading time of a desktop application. So earlier on I mentioned that the waiting time is no different from waiting for a 3.5 inch hard disk that's running the app. This feels like it. Alright, it's up. Let me create a new file. It's still lagging. I think the program is still loading. Okay, I have that. So when I try to create a new file, you see that cursor uh, turning. See that cursor turning again just to create a new file. And I have no other apps open. It's just Photoshop CS6. Um, there is no finger gesture because this app it doesn't support that so I have to go into the toolbar here to click the magnifying glass to enlarge this and notice when it enlarges there is that lag it doesn't respond um, that quickly and it's a bit inconvenient to always be using the toolbar so sometimes I like to use the keyboard but when you are using, when you are drawing on the Halo keyboard, there is no keys for you. So if you want to use keyboard shortcuts while you are drawing here, you have to get an external keyboard. So that is quite inconvenient because this app is not designed for tablet use. That's why I can see a lot of lag. Let me redraw that again for you to see clearer. Can you see that? The lines, it's coming out very slowly. There's a lot of lag and I seem to see some jitter as well. That again is probably my hand because I've demonstrated that you can draw a very straight line with a ruler. And now as I draw, I can see the lag. Sometimes the strokes, they do not come out the way I want them to be. But right now it seems to be working fine but here for these three dots here I actually wanted to draw straight lines but they did not come out the way I want them to be so let me try and draw something like a P letter P again you need to install WinTap driver for the pressure to work this is PS the lag is actually quite obvious and it's quite distracting I've just restarted Windows and Photoshop so I'm going to try this again there is still some slight lag and my lines it feels like there there are some jitter you may have to install the Lazy Nezumi plugin to make the lines smoother. Generally speaking, MIDI Bank Paint Pro performs better compared to Photoshop, at least on the Lenovo Yoga Book Windows version. There's only 4 gigs of RAM in this tablet, so if you have a lot of layers, if you have one layer for line art, another layer for coloring, another layer to adjust the layer styles or just the levels, or you want to use some filters, you want to add some effects like drop shadow, that's when things will really start to lag. I guess if you really want to, you can definitely use Photoshop, but those are some of the issues that you have to take note of. 4 gigs of RAM is not just for Photoshop, it's also for Windows that's currently running so the RAM is shared with all the other applications. If you run Chrome, if you run Illustrator at the same time, you will have less RAM for Photoshop and it's going to lag even more. So is the Windows version of the Yoga Book suitable for artists? It really depends on what apps you want to run on this. If you want to run desktop graphics applications, it's going to lag things like Photoshop, Illustrator, those are 
too processor intensive relatively speaking because this is underpowered but if you want to run windows tablet apps like sketchable Artrich, Wacom Bamboo Paper, I think this runs fine. It runs those apps perfectly well without a lot of lag. In fact, no lag at all. But when it comes to Photoshop Illustrator, I think it's better not to use this. Also, when running those apps, um, especially Photoshop and Illustrator, they are not optimized to be used on tablets so if you want to access the menus if you want to access the tools you actually have to use the stylus on the keyboard area and move around to click them I prefer to use keyboard shortcuts but since I'm using this keyboard area here I cannot use the keyboard shortcuts I would need to bring an external keyboard if I'm working in my office or I just don't use the keyboard which is quite unproductive so this device I think it's best used for tablet apps not for desktop apps that are not optimized for uh, tablet use so that's all for my review today if you have any questions let me know in the comments section I'm going to return this to my friend after this thanks for watching see you in the next video. Bye!